What's up, everybody? It's Dominic369 coming back at you for Cultism Unleashed, and we are jumping straight into the United States NATO chart. Boy, oh boy, I told you guys it was some, some hot stuff, man, and I was not joking. Not joking at all. Ruler of the fourth house, Mars, which also rules war in general. But in the United States chart, it rules the, the people at the bottom of the barrel, disenfranchised people in the party that is not in part in power and the, the, the voters in that party. As you can see, Mars is about to make a conjunction to the sun in about six days. And it's also going to be making a big square to Saturn in the 10th house. Saturn in the 10th house rules the president. Joe Biden is about to get some smoke, man. About to get about to get some smoke, you know. Uh because it's in the first decade in the cancer. Mars is in the first decade in the cancer, but it'll be in the second decade in the cancer when the uh square arrives, meaning it's cancer with Scorpio characteristics. It's a cancer with Scorpio characteristic energy, which means secrets being revealed. So you can expect some, you know, secrets to come out about Biden and, and his son and their family in a malicious way that that's used as a means to attack. Again, Mars is a planet of war. It's going to be used to, to, you know, drove up secrets and, you know, cause turbulence with his allies. And this is going to be not just in his personal life, but you're going to see splits and departures from a lot of allies that America has in Europe. This is coming. Be ready for it. Be ready for it. I promise you it's coming. You know. And this is this is in about the next 10 days. This is the next 10 days. You're going to see it get real hot. You'll see it re get real hot in the political arena. And you're going to see the United States go to war. Now, United States rising sign over here. 12 degrees Sagittarius. Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter. Jupiter is making, going to be making a square to Mercury. Mercury is the ruler of Gemini. Gemini is on the United States seventh house. The seventh house, it rules war. It rules your allies. You are about to see some conflict between the United States and their allies, and you are also going to see the United States in an active hot war in the next eight days. Next eight days, I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> You're you're gonna see things popping off. Um, look to countries that are ruled by by uh cancer. Cancer uh countries that are ruled by cancer. You see war. You're gonna see death because the ruler the ruler is in the the eighth house, and you're also gonna see you know countries cutting the United States off financially and weaponizing the United States debt as a strategic tool to go to war with the United States, as well as, you know, dependency on, on you know, foreign oil and things like that. You know, on a side note, the United States uh, strategic oil reserve is, is down uh, about 300 million barrels, down about 300 million barrels from about 700,000, 700 million barrels. And, you know, we just hit a $1.1 trillion deficit and Biden is trying to get more money from the government to refill the strategic oil reserves after Saudi Arabia put the play in motion to cut back oil production with, with OPEC. Also, you have the sun is going to make a square to Mercury. The sun rules the, the ninth house. The ninth house in the United States, it rules publishing companies, newspaper outlets, media outlets. You know, you're going to see celebrities also coming out, uh, speak, speaking out. And you're also going to see, you know, some of these celebrities also being banned from traveling overseas because you're going to come. It's going to come to the light that, that the United States has been using celebrities as, as CIA agents. You know, it's not like most of us didn't know that, you know. They chose they chose two two actors to be presidents, Ronald Reagan and, and Donald Trump, to be Republican, you know, candidates. Because they could appeal 
to the emotions of, of that crowd that they needed to strategically position the United States and, and do proxy wars and CIA, you know, dark operations and things like that that happened under under Reagan. You, know, you need somebody like that, an actor to be the fall guy that people will still love because they associate them with, you know, their days of acting or their days of entertaining or your, your, your success in a personal life, you know. But again, the sun is going to be making that square to Mercury in the eighth house. In the eighth house, you know, you're, you're going to see a lot of, a lot of, you know, people rising up against the rich and the wealthy as well in the United States. It's about to get hectic, man. It's about to get hectic. You know, we got uh, a good thing coming, a good thing right here. You know, Pluto is is approaching a trying to the mid heaven, and you're gonna see more positive things happening, more more cash flow from crypto. But next month, I'm telling you, Pluto is going retrograde. It's gonna move back into Capricorn. You're gonna see a lot of you know downturn in the in the price of crypto. People. You know, running back to traditional assets and, and it's going to go down for a while. And then when you see, you know, it goes back direct in October, it's going to really crank, crank back up and it's going to stay up. You know, when, when Pluto makes that definite trying to the United States mid heaven, because you see Pluto, United States just had a Pluto, Pluto return. So now Pluto is in Aquarius, zero degrees. When it finally makes this trying to the United States mid heaven. You are going to see the United States move to a complete digital currency system. I'm telling you now. And it's going to be an easy transition if that transition is something that, that helps all of the masses. But the way you the United States is known for, you know, abuse and power, and Pluto is a planet that, that deals with the use and abuse of power, it may be a situation where they, you know, digitize all the currency with the Fed now program and then, you know, really start controlling what you can buy, how you can spend your money, limiting what you can spend, you know, tracking all your purchases. That Fed now is dangerous and I'm 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 gonna lead out of that. You know, I'm gonna lead out of that. Uh Right here, you see, we're, we're about a week away, 22 to 29 degrees. This right here is showing it's going to be a, a nice eclipse and a sign of Aries on the 19th. It, and that eclipse energy starts moving about, you know, 10.30 p.m. The, the eclipse perfects a little bit after midnight on the 19th, and, and it fades out. You know, we're, we're in an hour following that. But the energy from the eclipse lasts for, you know, six months to a year. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. Like I said, the United States is going into a, a solar eclipse in seven days, man. The solar eclipse is at 29 degrees Aries. 29 degrees Aries solar eclipse. And in the fourth house. 29 degrees is the third decadent, which means it's going to have some Sagittarian influences, which means it's going to affect the image and the, how the United States is perceived. So what I'm going to tell you, you know, last week we seen things, you know, come out about leaks and the United States spying on their allies and things, things like that. This it happened within two two weeks of the eclipse, you know, things within two weeks of the eclipse. Are, are really faded, and and things that happen over this next seven days are going to be very faded, very you know, meant to be events. What's dangerous about this eclipse for the United States is the eclipse is making a square to the United States natal Pluto. Now, the NATO Pluto, it rules the United States 12 House of Secrets. In the sign of Scorpio, it also rules the United States 11th House. Um, it, 
and it, it's, it's going to get ugly, man. It's going to get ugly. And when I tell you, you know, the fourth house represents the people who aren't in power currently in the country, which whether it's the uh, Republican, which is the Republican Party right now. And, and it's always the lowest represents the lowest class in the country. What I'll tell you is, you know, the Republicans are are leaking a lot of information to, to people overseas to build distrust in the, in the current administration to, to, to sabotage and things like that. You are going to see a lot of lawsuits and, and investigations in, into Democrats and Biden. You are going to see a, a beginning of a civil war in the United States. And it's going to start with paperwork and, and people, you know, filing charges and, and weaponizing the legal system and things like that, you know. Again, this this eclipse is square in the United States. NATO, Pluto in the second house. You're going to see a lot of challenges to the current value system of this nation and a lot of shaking them up because there's been a lot of manipulation and abuse of power going on around the world in the name of democracy. And now it's imploding on itself. The, the, the situation is cosmically ripe. For, for civil war and insurrection in the United States. It's also, you know, ripe for breaking up of our allies. Again, the United States first house is ruled by Jupiter. This is getting ready to make a square to Mercury in the seventh house, the ruler of the seventh house, which rules our allies. It also rules the legal system. I'm telling you, man, it's over with for the United States. It's over with. It is, it is going to tear itself apart. Now, Venus, it rules the office of the president, the 10th house. It also rules the 6th house, which governs the military, police, and firefighters. And it also rules the 5th house. You know, how, 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 you know, the nation does business and markets itself and things like that. You know, investments of the nation. It's going to come up with a conjunction in Uranus. To Uranus. Uranus is the third house. It rules, you know, communication. And what I'm going to tell you is, you know, the United States has Neptune and Saturn intercepted, moving through the intercepted third house of communication right now. Saturn rules the United States money and values. A lot of secrets, a lot of truths about deceptive dealings that the United States are doing are about to come to the light. Neptune, in that saying, you know, intercepted Pisces in the third house is making a nice try to the to uh the part of fortune. This means United States might be able to manipulate and finesse in order to take care of some debt and make some money and, and scheme and plot on some loans to finance some of their some more of their hegemony. But don't look for it to last. This evening, you know, and early tomorrow morning, the moon is going to conjunct Pluto, the NATO Pluto in the United States chart. Get ready for news from overseas saying that allies don't want to be our allies. Get ready. It's coming. It's coming. You know, you got you got Mercury getting ready to go retrograde this month. Pluto going retrograde next month. We're going to have a summer full of retrograde planets, and it's, it's, it's going to grind the United States into the ground. It's going to grind the United States into the ground if they don't, they don't change how they're, how they're getting down, man. Venus, again, Venus is going to conjunct Uranus in seven days. We go right here. We pull this up. About right there. That's going to move, move the whole chart up about six or seven days. See what we looking like. It's two days before the eclipse. Venus can join Uranus. You know, Mars will be almost in the exact conjunction with, with the sun. Yeah, you're gonna see you're gonna see it on the news, Jack. 
You're going to see the United States all over the news. I would look look towards, you know, the 15th all the way up to the 21st. And then from there on out, Fred could just keep getting, getting saucier and saucier, man. That's that's how it's that's how it's about to go. Um, my recommendations for you, you know, the people at the bottom of the barrel, people living, you know, paycheck to paycheck, you got some good things in your favor. Good things in in your favor. You got Jupiter down here in the fourth house, and you got the sun down here in the fourth house. And again, this is a north node. Ooh, Solar eclipse in the sign of Aries. This is a time where a lot of action is going to be taken. Although there will be people, political actors, and, you know, our government taking negative action. This is a great time for you personally to take action in whatever whatever area you have, you know, 29 degrees Aries in your chart and, and really start stepping your game up. Again, the polar opposite of Aries is Libra, and, you know, so the opposite point of the fourth house is the 10th house. You are going to see a lot of litigation against the Biden administration. You are about to see, you know, litigation, retaliation, and, and maybe, you know, some hot, hot, you know, war between, between you know, political separatists in the United States. And this is, this is what I'm also going to tell you. You know, this is what I'm also going to tell you. This eclipse is making a trine to Vladimir Putin's mid-heaven and his Pluto. If the United States tries to bust a move on Russia or China right now, they are going to lose and you're not going to have no overseas war. You're going to be seeing shit get fucked up over here. Be prepared. Take advantage of the opportunities that present themselves. Start asserting yourself more in the area, in the house where the uh, eclipse is going to occur in your chart and take care of any, you know, marital or legal commitment issues that you got to take care of because, you know, the bill collector coming. The bill collector coming. Hope y'all find us helpful. I'm out.